This is Diana Sullivan in Austin, Texas. Today I'm going to show how to knit a mitten on the Ultimate Sweater Machine. You're going to need some worsted weight yarn and this is a woman's size mitten. You're going to be learning to do a double wrap e-cast on. You're going to latch up a one by one ribbing and you're going to knit the body of the mitten and then afterward tool these braids that are the same ones we used on the matching scarf and hat. I have 35 needles and I'm using a good worsted weight yarn. I begin by hanging the cuff and the elastic as usual and bringing them all the way back behind the latches and the needles all the way forward. I'm going to use a double e-wrap cast on so I have my yarn with a clothespin hanging. This is a good worsted weight yarn and I go around the first needle and then come up between the first and second needles. Then bring the yarn back and knit it through the first needle. Then I go under the third needle and bring it through the loop of the second needle hook and knit it through. With a little practice, this goes very quickly indeed. I will e-wrap across all of the needles. When I get to the very last needle on the right, I just wind around it and knit it through as well. And then I'm ready to begin my knitting. I'm using key plate one. I'm going to knit 22 rows to make a long cuff. I wanted the cuff to be long and warm. It's three and a half inches from the beginning to the end of the ribbing. My 22 rows are knitted and now I'm going to drop every second stitch all the way across and I'm going to latch up the ribbing. I just unravel it by giving it a tug and also by picking it out with my tool. I unravel the knitting for that one stitch all the way down to the bottom and then I insert the latch tool in that very bottom loop and I can go ahead and latch up the stitch which reforms it into a purl stitch and it makes ribbing. And I have to do that on every other needle all the way across the work. Once the ribbing is all latched up, you're going to knit 37 rows with key plate 2. This is for the body of the mitten. Once the 37 rows are knitted, you're going to double up the stitches on every other needle. That is, you move the second stitch to the first needle and you put that second needle out of work and then the second stitch, fourth stitch to the third needle and then the sixth stitch to the fifth needle. Do that all the way across. Put the empty needles all the way back out of work. When you get to the last needle, there won't be a stitch to double up, so just leave that one. With the decreases done all the way across the double ups and the out of work needles pushed all the way back, I'm going to change to key plate one and I'm going to knit six rows, which makes the dome or the very top of the hand of the mitten. Now it's time to make the decorative cables up the top of the hand of the mitten. And what I'm going to do is start with the third stitch from the left, skip a stitch, get the fifth, 
the seventh, and the ninth. And these are the needles that I'm going to run the stitches down to make this detail. When I run them past the area that was just um, one stitch, I'll get down to an area where every time I run it, two stitches will unravel, which I'm going to unravel all the way down to the very top of the ribbing. So I'm going to, when I get close to this spot where I begin the trim, I'm going to pick them stitches out just a row at a time with my tool. Then, at the area where the ribbing ends, I'm holding the stitches so they don't unravel further and I'm going to poke them on my tool. And then I'm going to pull two stitches through them, two loops I should say, and draw up and then grab two loops and this just goes really fast and makes such a pretty trim. So it's just two through two. When you get to the top, if you only have one left, then just pull the one through and put it on the corresponding empty needle. Now it's held securely on the needle where I put it. And that's how to make the braid, and I'll need to do that in three more spots because there are four braids along the top of the hand. For one hand, I put the braids on the right side of the work, and for the other hand, I put the braids on the left side of the work because the hands are different. My braids are done, and I've cut the yarn, leaving a long piece for seaming up later. And what I'm going to do is push the knitting back behind the latches and the needles forward, and then I can just pick the stitches off onto my yarn needle. When this thread is drawn up, it will make the rounded top of the mitten. After taking all the hardware off my mitten, I'm just drawing up the top. I will go through these loops twice with my yarn needle and draw it up very tight and then I can use the same piece of yarn to sew the side seam down a little ways above the area where I'm going to join the thumb. Of course, unrolled and seamed, you can see the top of the mitten. Now the thumb is going to go here 